What's up everybody out there on YouTube? This is Jay the Wanderer with Oakland Latinos Unidos, aka Oakland Latinos United, the voice of the Latino community in the Bay Area, California, YouTube and beyond. Well, I'm out here at the Oakland Museum today and I'm checking out a great exhibit they have here and it's about the African presence and history and culture and influence it has on Mexico. Basically, the African, unknown African, the unknown history of Africans in Mexico. And there's a lot of good pictures, exhibits, and all kinds of stuff here. So we'll go around filming a little bit, and I'll let you know what they are. Right here, there's an exhibit about the Mexican Revolution, and it shows pictures of people that were fighters in both sides that were obviously of African descent. There's a picture right there of a lady named Agustin Casolas, and uh, she was from Michoacan, and apparently, she, from what it looks, she had African features. Right here, it looks like it's a, a government soldier, a federal. And um, I was in the Mexican Revolution too, so a lot of people that were of African descent fought in the Mexican Revolution. The African presence in Mexico is not very well known because a lot of it has been erased through history. And uh, you know, mostly all we know about is either the Spanish side or the indigenous side, but the third group, the African side, is rarely ever discussed. And um, that's good that the, the Oakland Museum teamed up with the Chicago Mexican Museum, which is the one that brought this exhibit here, to bring it here to sh educate the people about, you know, the African presence in Mexico. And uh, there's a lot of good things right here. There's an, uh, there, there, it's about Yanga. And let me see. As soon as these people get out of the way, I'll let you, I'll let you see. But Yanga was a was a rebellion. Gaspar Yanga was a slave who was enslaved in Mexico, in but in, in Africa, I mean, and he was brought to Mexico. To, and uh, he did a rebellion in Veracruz, and he founded one of the first free towns in the Americas. This was in the 1600s, early 1600s. And um, he founded the town of Yanga, which is still there to this day. Right here, we'll look at a little bit of, of Yanga. There's a, there's the, uh, a little, a little, um, little statue. There's actually a full-size statue in the town of Yanga that looks just like that. Here's a drawing of the rebellion. It was basically a slave rebellion in Mexico. And Yanga, Gaspar Yanga, who was, like I said, an African slave, basically rebelled against the Spaniards and, and, and generated up towards uh, the inland part of Veracruz near Orizaba and formed the town of Yanga. Here's a little thing about him right here. It tells the story of what happened. Well, let's walk around and look at some of the other exhibits around here. And, uh, yeah, like I said, this is a great collection of things. There's all kinds of portraits of different things that have African feet, different people. Here's, um, here's Jose Maria Morelos. He was actually, uh, one of the ones that uh, was part of the, the Mexican um, independence revolution against the Spaniards. And uh, he was from Michoacan, and it was believed that he had African and indigenous blood in him. And another one was the second president of Mexico right here, which is Vicente Guerrero, who was from Guerrero, and um, it was believed he also had African and indigenous blood in him. And uh, apparently he was murdered a year after he became president over political BS. Let's walk around and look at more things. The silver miner. Here's a portrait of a of a family of a Mexican family who is obviously of African and indigenous descent. I'm not sure what part of Mexico this family was from. These families are from, but uh, yeah, I mean. Pretty cool collection. Room said right here. Here's pictures of the city of Veracruz of the people there. I actually been there right there where those kids are. I've been right there. I actually have a picture of me standing right there. <laughs> That's weird. In the city of Veracruz in El Puerto.
There's a barber shop in Veracruz. There's a group playing uh, like Son Jarocho. Here's a portrait of, uh, of a lady. It says 1947. And I guess it's a black lady from Mexico. There's Tlacotalpan, Veracruz. You know, a lot of Veracruz and Guerrero are going to come up a lot whenever you do a research about Africans in Mexico because it is the prominent areas of Mexico where slaves were brought to in Mexico. Sugar cane workers in Veracruz. Here's a family from Mexico City that obviously has African background. Here's a family from Guerrero, from La Costa Chica. And right here they have an exhibit to La Costa Chica. La Costa Chica is a, is a part of a Guerrero south of Acapulco, which was a high area for escaped slaves. And there's a high concentration of... A, of um, of people of African descent there. Let's look at this map right here. Basically, if you look at Costa Chica, which is right here, right under Acapulco, between Guerrero and Oaxaca, this was an area where a lot of African slaves ended up. A lot of them were escaped slaves. And Veracruz over here, on the East Coast, which I've been to before, is what was the port of entry from, Mex from Africa to, to Mexico, where many slaves were brought. So, as you can see, that shows a little detail of how it was, but there was also black communities in Coahuila, in Zacatecas, and I believe even Michoacan. Because uh, there's a lot of people in Michoacan that have African features. These are all portraits of La Costa Chica and Guerrero in Oaxaca. Right here, we're going to go into another exhibit, which is more about music, festivals, and carnivals, and the African presence in, in the music and festivals, particularly in Veracruz. It says, Danza de la Tortuga. I'm not sure what state that's from. Here's another portrait, which is a nice one. It says, Dance of the Straw Bull. It doesn't say what state it's from. Looks like maybe Guerrero or Morelos. I'm not sure. Here's a portrait of, uh, of the Son Jarocho, the Fandango. No, that's actually Son de Artesa, which is from Guerrero. It's a portrait of the, of the, uh, of the, huh? Oh. 